Hey folks, Brian here, your Honest Mechanic. Today we're looking into the pros and cons of CVT transmissions. As a mechanic who's seen it all, I've got some strong opinions on these things, so buckle up and let's get into it. But first, if you appreciate straight talk car maintenance and repair guides, please press that like button and subscribe. It helps more than you know. Alright, back to CVTs. Continuously variable transmissions. They're everywhere these days, but are they all they're cracked up to be? Let's break it down. Let's start with the pros because believe it or not, there are some. First up, fuel efficiency. This is the big selling point. CVTs can keep the engine running at its most efficient RPM, which means better gas mileage. We're talking potentially 6 to 8% better fuel economy compared to a traditional automatic. In today's world of crazy gas prices, that's not nothing. Next, smooth acceleration. No clunky gear changes here. CVTs provide a seamless driving experience, especially in stop-and-go traffic. It's like butter, I tell you. They're also lighter and have fewer moving parts than traditional automatics. In theory, this should mean better reliability and lower maintenance costs. But let me tell you, theory and reality don't always shake hands. CVTs are great for maintaining constant speed on highways. Ever notice how some cars seem to hunt for the right gear on long uphill stretches? CVTs don't have that problem. They just adjust the ratio as needed keeping your speed steady. Now here's where it gets interesting. CVTs can actually provide better performance in some situations. They can keep the engine at peak power output during acceleration, which can make a car feel peppier than you might expect. All right, now for the cons. And folks, there are some big ones. Reliability is a major concern. I've seen way too many CVTs fail prematurely. Nissan, I'm looking at you. Their Jatco CVTs have had a ton of issues, often crapping out well before 100,000 miles. It's gotten slightly better in recent years, but the reputation is there for a reason. Repair costs can be astronomical. When a CVT goes, it often means replacing the whole unit. We're talking thousands of dollars. I've had customers nearly fall off their chairs when I give them the estimate. The driving experience isn't for everyone. That smooth, seamless acceleration. Some folks find it weird or unengaging. There's no satisfying shift feel, which can make the car seem less responsive. As a guy who loves driving, I get it. Towing capacity is generally lower with CVTs. If you're looking to haul heavy loads, a traditional automatic or manual is usually a better bet. I've seen too many folks learn this the hard way, then there's the noise. CVTs can cause the engine to drone at a constant RPM during acceleration, which some people find annoying. Manufacturers have gotten better at mitigating this, but it's still a common complaint. Now here's where I'm going to ruffle some feathers. The reliability issues? They're not universal. Some manufacturers do better than others. But overall, as a mechanic, I gotta say I prefer traditional torque converter transmissions. They're just more robust in my experience. So what's the takeaway here? CVTs aren't all bad, but they come with some serious risks. If you're in the market for a car with a CVT, do your homework. Look at reliability ratings for that specific make and model. Now I know some of you are wondering, Brian, should I avoid CVTs altogether? Honestly, if it were me, I'd lean towards a traditional automatic. They're just more proven in my book. To be fair, CVTs have improved over the years. But if you're dead set on a CVT, at least stick to brands with better track records or at least change fluid every 15,000 to 30,000 miles. Here's a pro tip. If you're test driving a car with a CVT, pay attention to how it behaves during acceleration. Any shuddering, hesitation, or weird noises? Walk away. Those are red flags for potential CVT issues. That's all for today, folks. If you found this video on CVT transmission pros and cons helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. 